one, two, one, two. I wanted to show you is the rhythm at 13 and we're going to do it really slowly and in four like this one two three four one two three it's about half tempo also this is all swung so when you see 13 it's not da 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 it's swung da da ba da do ba right so i'm going to play this really slow in four four two a one two three two one, two, three. Okay, it's pretty tricky. Let's look at 39, same thing. Two, a one, two. slurs there. So this was actually harder than I thought it was going to be. And the biggest thing you got to worry about, of course, is the rhythm. And the best thing you can do is to take it really, really slow with a metronome in 4-4 four, four, and then get it faster and faster like that. Um, a few other things. The next most important part is going to be the articulation. And if you listen to the recording I made, the long notes are long and the short notes are very, very short. Don't try to play this too loud. It's not important that it be loud. It's got to be clean. Um, so whenever I have a note with a long tenuto mark over the top, followed by a different note, I usually just slur that. So if I have, for instance, at 27, I'm not playing ta-ta-ta-da-da. I'm just slurring it. I'm not playing this. I'm going... It's just easier and it sounds just as good or I think even better. Same thing happens at like 83. Listen, I'm going to slur some of these. One, two, uh, uh. Last three notes, right? Don't worry about the bends in 61. Like I, I'm going to have to show you that in person. Other than that, have a good time. Play it light. <laughs> 